SBR Videos is sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing Week 10 in the NFL, and we're talking right now with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com, who's got 26 years of experience proving himself, as well as, you know, a couple of months this year, really proving himself. He's got a great record at his website, in our videos, in all ways. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us. Thank you, Peter. All right, give a quick plug before we get into Jacksonville, Tennessee. God, you know, you take whatever games I assign you. This is a tough one, Jacksonville, Tennessee. We'll see what you have to say about it. Uh, first, you know, give a little pitch for OffshoreInsiders.com. Tell people why they should go there and visit and sign up. Well, we're 18 and 8 with the highest rate at Wise Guy Place in football, but I am giddy about college basketball season starting. When you buy the picks, you're going to see the analysis, how, dig, how deep I dig for great winning information in college basketball as well at offshoreinsiders.com. Giddy. I'm not sure if I'd want to, you know, hire a professional handicapper who's giddy, but no, that's a good thing, right? Yes. I'm very excited. Look, I live and breathe uh, handicapping. Okay. Jacksonville, Tennessee. You know, this is one of these lines where, you know, you just take whatever I assign you. I'm glad I don't have to go uh, on public record with, with a pick in this one. Jacksonville's an 11 and a half point road underdog. Total's 41 or 41 and a half. And I have seen uh, some systems and heard some, you know, cappers citing, uh, you know, historical trends that would indicate that Jacksonville in this position with that line might be a good bet. Uh, you know, uh, but they are Jacksonville, absolutely awful. And, you know, some of their, uh, you know, yardage statistics are even not quite as bad as, uh, as they really are. You know, like their pass defense uh, is probably a lot worse than their numbers are giving them credit for. Uh, Jackson, Tennessee, though, you know, 11 half point home favorite, and they are off of the win and cover against St. Louis. And one good sign there was that Chris Johnson, very up and down uh, over the past few years, is coming off an up week. So does that mean he's going to have another good rushing game this week or a regress to the mean? I'm not exactly sure. I do know that, that uh, you know, Jacksonville is, is not like Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is a team that's like pretty clearly uh, bad and maybe heading even further down. While Jacksonville does seem to still have some optimism and some pep, they had a quote unquote state of the, uh, of the union uh, meeting this past week where they sort of are trying to address some of their problems. So it looks like they're going to try to play as well as they can and try to, um, you know, hang as close here as they can. I guess I would lean towards Jacksonville plus 11 and a half, but they're so bad, I definitely wouldn't bet it. What do you think, Joe Duffy? No, I agree with a lot of stuff that you said, and I'm not sure exactly what some of the systems and trends that people quoted. But yes, throughout the years, in really all sports, but more so in the NFL, where perception can really affect the public, that really bad teams that are playing poorly, believe it or not, are actually good bets sure. because the public, of course, wants to bet against them. So underdogs are 10 and a half or more off of seven or more straight up losses, and a team that has a winning percentage of 250 or less, which for the most part, if you've lost seven games, pretty good chance they do, but they're 34 and 12 against the spread, including 12 and two the last 10 years. And as you mentioned, Jacksonville is off of a bye. What do I say? One of my golden rules is rest, and in this case, in the NFL or college football, a bye benefits teams that need it the most. It hurts teams that are in nice groups. Well, there's zero debate that Jacksonville mentally and physically uh, needed that buy. As you said, they didn't have the, the big meeting of the minds. They're going to make some changes. The changes are going to be good for two reasons. Number one, they'll have a little bit of an element of surprise, which will work short term. And number two, it is something to rally around. That's what they need, something yeah. to rally around. Maybe analogous to a major league coach. If a team is slumping, he shuffles the lineup a little bit. I think that's what's going to happen here. That will have good positive short term effect. And Jake Locker, the ultimate box of but you never know what you're going to get. One week he looks tremendous, the next week so-so. So taking points in a game involving an erratic quarterback like a Jake Locker, a box of chocolates, as we say, is a high percentage play in and of itself. So the underdog is my play here. Yeah, and also to Chris Johnson the same way, box of chocolates. Yeah. You never quite know what you're going to get. I just, yeah, the only thing that makes me a little bit scared, which might be a good sign, you know, which is why the line is so high, is just, you know, on the forums at SBR, there have been so many times people have given the opinion, you know, oh, Jacksonville, you know, this is a spot for them. I like them. And then it's like they just look so bad on the field and they, they get blown out so big time. And, and people just are, are sort of like wondering into the air, like, why is Jacksonville so bad? How are they this bad? Yeah, no, but remember, they're slightly more competitive. Obviously, it was a setback when, when uh, Justin Blackman came back, and then, of course, he 
He went back on the wag. He's he's back out again. But Chad Hay has been a much more effective quarterback. Yes, yeah, sure. He hasn't been a complete disaster that uh, Blaine Gabbard are. I know I even had statistically, you know, the huge difference. In fact, Henny, he's got a 75.3 quarterback rating compared to Gabbard, who had a 36 rating. So the Jaguars aren't quite as awful as their statistics say because at least they have a semi-competent quarterback now where they didn't at the beginning of the year. And also keep in mind, Tennessee, short week this week. They've got a rivalry game Thursday against Indianapolis, a huge game. So you can see where they'd maybe take the foot off of the gas pedal as well. All right. I'm convinced. Joe Duffy, great analysis. This, that's the kind of analysis. That's why Joe Duffy has such great ATS records uh, this year in the NFL. I'm agreeing with you, man. Jacksonville plus 11 and a half. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Peter.